Let me uh, address the differences between the EU, the uh, Canadian system, and the U.S. system, and essentially the need for harmonization amongst those, uh, and, and the problems that the lack of harmonization is causing at this point in time. Uh, essentially, what we see, because there are differences, um, simply the, it's a matter of trade. And sending product from the U.S. to the EU simply cannot occur because of differences in the approach to treated articles. Likewise, there's also a similar uh, a, a difference between the U.S. and Canada. Even though we're in the same continent, there are differences. Um, so what does this mean for industry? Uh, for anyone doing business in all of these three, three areas, it means that there's always a matter of investigating what the regulations are, what can and cannot be set on a product label, and ultimately the cost for relabeling is borne by industry, which can be a, a fairly substantial amount of money for a company who does business in these areas. So we would like to see harmonization in order to avoid those costs, in order to avoid the uncertainty of have product land on a port and then determine ultimately that it's being held up because of questions concerning its biocidal activity. So we'd like to have a lot more straightforward, clear-cut definitions and regulations addressing this area. Do you think there have been any improvements in this area lately in regard to harmonization at all? I think in terms, of harmon in terms of addressing harmonization and improvements, I think the ability for industry to at least have dialogue is the first step. So uh, there's that opportunity, and at least we can discuss the issue and what is of concern to industry. Um, ultimately, there are certain things and certain movements by, for instance, the EU with regards to complex treated articles, which is a minor victory, at least for industry, with regards to the recognition that that is indeed an issue. But there's a lot more that needs to be done. Um, as I said, just looking at and comparing the EU to the US, US doesn't require labeling, EU does. So that alone is creating a, a, an issue for an area and a, an industry where normally they've never had to think about regulatory issues. Let's face it, the industries that we're talking about are ones that deal with things like materials preservatives, and they've normally been out of the whole regulatory realm. Now they're sort of being drawn into this, and they're going kicking and screaming.